Hi, welcome to Newcastle Comic Con. We're here with Ross Mullen, who plays the infamous scary White Walkers from Game of Thrones. Ross, very nice to meet you today. Hi, nice to meet you. you we were talking before and you said it's your first time in Newcastle. It is, yes. I've been living in the UK for 24 years and I've actually never made it to Newcastle. Though I have a lot of friends from up here. so. And you are literally on Hadrian's Wall, which I believe was the inspiration for the, uh, ah, for the Game of Thrones. Yeah, okay. I'm, I should go and see it. <laughs> so, how did you get into the part? Wow. Um, well, I was in Clash of the Titans uh, with Sam Worthington and the prosthetics department uh, was run by Connor Sullivan's. He does. Uh, he's he's a makeup artist. And um, when they were revisiting the White Walkers in season two of Game of Thrones, uh, he asked me in to have an audition and have a look at some of the drawings they had. And he wanted to know if I'd be interested in playing the White Walker. Now you were in the Silence as well in the Doctor Who series. Yeah, right? I played the Silence in Matt Smith's very last episode uh, when they were going confess, confess, That's confess. One of the most scary Doctor Who characters ever, I think. So well, well done on that. <laughs> oh, um, thanks. What's your highlight from Game of Thrones? Wow, my highlight from Game of Thrones is probably uh, the luxury or the privilege that I've had of learning how to ride a horse. Mm -hmm. I didn't know how to ride a horse before that, so uh, I was out learning with the Devil's Horsemen, who are an amazing stunt team. Um, that is probably the, the most amazing thing about the job. Also, um, well, all the fans, you know, it's fantastic to generate such an amazing fan base around just one character's two, two minute appearance on screen and then, you know, maybe another two minutes the following season and another two minutes the year after. It's incredible. Yeah. What's, what's your inspiration behind the character? How do you actually try and get across the evilness, the spookiness of it? Uh, just calm, cool, collective, try to channel my inner silent demon. Yeah. Yeah. So, uh, next series starts in April, is that right? I guess so. I've only done seasons two, three, and four, and that's me done. I, uh, I don't think you're dead yet. Well, not me, but I mean, I'm dead. Yeah. Uh, not me, Ross, but um, yeah, my character died in season four. Yeah. I came back, uh, well, my character died in season three, then I came back in season four, and I handed the baby over to Richard Brake, who plays yeah. the Night King. Um, and that's me done. I'm not really on the series anymore. I'm working on other things, uh, horror movies and stuff. Yeah. How did you enjoy doing the silence? Oh, I loved it. Yeah, I mean, it was amazing. Uh, it was Matt Smith's last episode, so it was a very special kind of experience for me. Mm -hmm. um, and then I came back and I was working the, f the following season with Peter Capaldi. Yeah. So I got to work with both Doctors. Yeah, working on Doctor Who's amazing. Yeah. What's next in the uh, lineup for you? Gosh, I have a sci-fi thing I can't really talk about that oh, I'm going to be on, starting to do next, next year. Uh, it has to do with transportation in the future. That's about it. Not Back in the Future Part 4, is no, it? No, uh, no. Just checking. <laughs> All right, Ross, thank you very much for speaking to us today. Thank Super. you. Thank you. Take care. Thanks, guys.